All right, so guess what we're doing today? Kick serve, one of the more complex serves in tennis, but get a lot of questions about how do I hit a kick serve? And that, it's just not an easy answer, so that's why I'm gonna show you. And I'm so glad you guys are here today. I hope that you're enjoying all the content on this channel. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, and make sure you subscribe, comment, please engage with me, because I'd like to hear your thoughts, what you'd like to see, what you don't, and then go ahead click that notification button so that way you can know when we're doing all these fun things with tennis. Today we're going to review the kick serve. We've got a lot of questions about the kick and how to execute the kick serve. So what we're going to do is show you how to do it. So it starts out with the grip. So as we know, we start our serve with the Eastern grip. If you want to get more familiar with that, you can just go ahead and check out the video on basics of how to serve. But with the kick, and this is very advanced, so if you're not comfortable with this, you don't have to try it. Try it for kicks. You may not want to try it in match play until you're ready. But you can slide that grip over from the Eastern grip and you can go further this way. Okay? And you can go further that way because it will give you even more movement on the ball. Because what we want on our kick is, first of all, for it not to be attackable, and we want it to jump. So because we're using these grips and these other techniques I'm going to show you, the ball will jump high and it will also move from, let me make sure I get this right, from left to right. If you're a lefty, it's going to move the opposite way. So what we want is on the kick is first of all to jump and then the extra bonus is hopefully it's jumping and moving. So imagine if you're trying to hit a ball as a returner, not only is it jumping high, but as you're getting ready to set up, it's moving away from you completely out of your strike zone, you're completely off balance, and that's the goal for our kick serve. Now we don't have to just use it for a second serve, we can also use a kick for the first serve. So those are the basics of the grip. Regular Eastern grip, if you want to try to move it over for extra bonus, there you go. So from there, of course, we're going to start serving. And the thing about the kick also is we're going to use the same toss, so no confusion there. We're still going to use the same toss if you want to. A lot of people We'll use a kick, they'll put the toss further on top of the head, but that's a, definitely a telegraph. It's like, I'm kicking, the best servers have the same toss. So we're gonna have that same toss still out in front, also because it allows you to get out into the court. And getting out into the court on the kick, it gets you extra kick, actually. So if you can get out into the court and really use those legs and land out into the court, you can get extra kick on the ball. So the keys to the kick are definitely the grip and make sure that on the grip you have that finger up. So look at the service basics video for more on that and why. So we're gonna have that finger up, not a fist. The finger is up. The toss is still going to be out in front, a little bit to the left, but not so much that your opponent can read it. So you're gonna move it a little bit to the left and then we're gonna arch our back more. So on our kick serve, we can arch our back more, but hopefully you're already arching your back if you're a more advanced level on your serve. You're also already arching that back on your serve just a little bit. Now one of the things that can happen on the back arch is you're using a lot more of your abs. So you're not gonna wanna just start arching your back, you're gonna pull your abs right away. So if you're a right-hander, you're gonna pull this left side immediately. So if you're gonna do that, you're gonna want to work on your abdominal strength and you're also going to want to work on your abdominal strength in that direction. So I recommend like um, just some simple things. Stand a few inches in front of a wall and do some movements like this. You can also add some weights. There's different exercises. Maybe I should do a whole other video on how to do how to prepare to arch your back in tennis. So if you're you have the abdominal strength to do so, you can use that back arch. To, to do that. So a normal serve or if you um, do not arch your back would just be, your back would just be perpendicular, straight. And then a back arch is going to look more like this. So that back arch is also going to give you more kick. Where you hit your contact point on the ball is also going to be crucial to the kick. So with a regular serve, every serve the contact point is a little bit different. But on the kick, we're going to want that contact point. If this is a clock, and this is 12 o'clock, this is 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, we're going to want that contact point to be at about 7 o'clock. Okay? Because it's going to give us that rotation to get it to move 
from the left to the right. Now, for example, on a slice, we're hitting at three o'clock. And so that movement is gonna go this way and the ball is gonna go shh, like that. So it's gonna go shh. And on the kick, it's gonna go Again, The noises don't count. So those motions are much different. It's gonna make that ball move from right to left and the other position is gonna make it move from left to right. So we've got it all now. We know what we've got to do. We've got our grip if you want to move it over. We know that our toss is the same, but just a slightly bit to the left. We know we hopefully have that back arch, but if we don't, we're going to try to arch our back. Not necessary, it's an enhancer. And we're going to land into the court, and on our contact point, we're hitting it at about seven o'clock. That's what seven o'clock looks like. This is what a three o'clock would look like. And you can see that the, that would make the ball go that way. Just makes sense, right? Vroom. And this will make the ball go that way. So I'll give you a nice demo. Okay, so another extra feature on the kick is that we're gonna have the opportunity to pronate. So if you've hit a serve out wide on the ad court or up the tee on the deuce court, then you are familiar with using pronation. So pronation is when you are pronating your wrist. So that wrist movement is literally going outwards, which means to pronate the wrist. So you're gonna pronate the wrist and it's gonna give you that extra movement as well. So on the pronation, what that follow through will look like is it gonna, it's gonna go slightly out, whereas on other serves like a slice or even a body serve, it's just forward. And of course, remember to aim that way too. Really important. I hope that wasn't too heavy. The kick serve is a little complex and you will frame some shots. Like that ball is gonna go over the fence normal part of it and also one last pointer for you too is that when you're nervous sometimes you can frame that ball so if you're feeling really nervous you step up to the line you don't have to hit a kick serve you'll learn from experience you'll see what i'm talking about i hope you enjoyed this and remember we also have some other videos for you the basic serve too super important because you can't do the basic serve maybe you're not going to be ready for a kick serve so check that out if that's the level that you're operating at and also i've got more stuff for you more stuff on tennis if you're interested in that plus all the other behind the scenes in my life if that's what you'd like to see too so if you'd like to see that go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit notifications so you know when all that stuff is happening and if you like the video thank you like it and i will see you soon i'll see you next time happy serving